the shower. I was so dirty and so tired and my feet hurt. Uh, about, <laughs> this is a funny story, uh, about midnight last night, I was at my friend Susan's house and uh, we're sitting around and we're talking about this, that, and the other thing. And, and we're looking around her house and, and it's like, you know what, have you thought about changing this room into maybe more of a workspace and we could do some meetups here and we had all these great ideas and I'm not joking, we started at midnight and we started in the first front room and we just started rearranging everything. We took everything out of the room, we just threw stuff away, we made a pile of Goodwill stuff, we just completely until 3.30 in the morning last night worked and then got up again at 8 o'clock and started again and worked until I think it was around 6 p.m. Seriously, I am so tired and I'm so exhausted, but it is the craziest thing. Yes, it was her house that we rearranged everything in the house and got it done, but you know what? It's so, it does something to you. It does something to your head. It does something to um, just everything about what you're going through. It kind of clears everything out. And I do that around my house all the time. And I wrote a blog actually a couple years ago. You should go look at it up. It's um, on suebrook.com. Go look up the blog, Rearrange the Furniture. And it's actually pretty good. I, in fact, maybe I'll post the link below the comments here. You know, it's, it's once in a while in your life and it's not just the physical furniture, the chairs and all the stuff around in your in your environment. Although when you wake up in the morning and you look around to a whole new environment, it just does something to you. It changes you in some way and it gives you a whole new outlook on life. But you also kind of sometimes need to rearrange the furniture in your own life. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe certain people that are in your life, maybe you have some negative people in your life and you need to like take it to the junkyard. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, or rearrange it a little bit. So rearrange maybe your, your goals or your, um, the things that are important to you, the things that you need to do. I've actually rearranged a lot in my life in the last two weeks, a lot. And uh, it's pretty cool. Like amazing things are happening because of it. So go read my blog on my website, Rearrange the Furniture. And uh, it's actually pretty good. Maybe it gets you thinking. And uh, again, excuse the looks. I am so exhausted. But you know, I made it. I made a commitment to you. I made a commitment to me that I was going to do a, a video every single day. So I've also, if you wouldn't mind going and subscribing to my YouTube channel, I'm slowly starting to get the videos up on YouTube so you could go back and watch some past ones. I'm going to be adding a lot of content videos in there, especially if you're looking for things for business and marketing. So um, anyway, I'm going to sign out today because I'm seriously falling asleep, but I wanted to say hey and uh, just talk about rearranging the furniture in, in your environment, in your life, in your head, <laughs> um, all those kind of things. So. Go have a great night, have a great Monday tomorrow, and let's see what you can start all over doing. And maybe pick a day to rearrange the furniture in your life. I'll talk to you later. Again, go see my blog on suebrook.com called Rearrange the Furniture. See ya. Bye.